I don't know how to feel about this. I'm conflicted. I think I'm conflicted. Jim Ryan goes over, uh, I believe it was on the 8th, to Brussels, talk to the European Union about, hey, man, I think this Microsoft Activision deal is bad news. He says that it's going to have negative ramifications for gamers. What was his actual quote, I think, was uh, uh, the deal would have major negative implications for gamers in the future of the gaming industry. This is actually was uh, uh, not what Jim Ryan said. This is what Sony as a whole said earlier and then jim ryan goes over there it sounds like to to sort of buttress up this debate this argument and on one hand i get it right i mean on one hand if you for whatever reason good bad or otherwise if you're a console or idiot or just whatever you know you have a playstation and you want call of duty on it which is makes sense of course you you know you don't care about the optics you care about hey man jim ryan's doing the lord's work he's doing whatever he can to keep good content coming into his system for his customers um you can't fault him for that right i i think there's a you know one could even potentially argue because the optics of doing this to in some extent are so bad that there's a little bit of a fall on your sword aspect to it it's like he's going to go you know, kind of humiliate himself on the world stage, the world stage, the geek world stage, the gaming geek world stage, the small stage off to the side of the big stage. Um, But he's going to go do this because, you know, it's going to be better for the customers he serves. I admire that. But at the same time, it really does send a a bad message, uh, which is to say, Microsoft has said for a handful of years after the deal closes, PlayStation will have Call of Duty. And it just makes it also, you know, I mean, that's what a leader does sometimes, right? Sometimes you you do fall on the sword. Sometimes you do, you're willing to look like an idiot or look like the fool to give your uh, folks who work with and for you a win, right? And so maybe he's just like, I get the optics are bad because it makes it look like it's like, dude, you've got three years four years really to to get your house in order and compete i don't understand and i'm sure he is i'm sure he's telling his studios look we can't hold on to this forever we can't be this dependent on one thing it just it just doesn't come off well but at the same time it comes off noble so i i don't know how to feel about the one thing that's weird though is you know, I mean, again, maybe there are laws about this, but he's specifically going and Google apparently is specifically going to these regulatory bodies that oversee acquisitions to make sure they're not monopolies and, and whatnot. But if if Activision or if Microsoft just said, OK, you know what we're going to do? Uh, w- w- I'm not saying they would do this, but if they can't get Call of Duty, they should at least get the people who make Call of Duty. Right. They should get the teams and say, well, okay, we're just going to we're going to build new studios and all these people are coming in and then they'll have to rebrand it. But who gives a shit? I mean, you're not going to find a team, you know, to make call. It'll be just like Madden and Game Day. Game Day was given Madden a run for its money until it stopped doing that. Um, Medal of Honor was was the big hit on the block until Call of Duty came along. So things can shift. Um It may take a couple of years before the new Call of Duty that Activision, Microsoft creates that's not Call of Duty comes in. But I don't imagine a regulatory body can really have much say about that if they wanted to just sort of make new studios and say, hey, all the stuff you were going to get in terms of bonuses and, you know, back end and all that and salary increases, you're going to get all that. Come on now. Come on over. I mean, Bobby Kotick's not, but the people who make the shit will. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure they have contracts. I don't know. I just, I, there's something about this that's really doesn't sit well with me. I just, I'd, I'd rather Sony just say, you know what? We've had a good run with Call of Duty. We appreciate it. We would love to have it on our system. We will continue to negotiate with Microsoft Activision to get it on our system as, as, as long as we can. But if this is the end of the road, all relationships end, all relationships have a self shelf life. And don't you worry, PlayStation fans. In about a year and a half, we're going to unveil what one of our studios has been making, and you won't even think about Call of Duty after that, or something to that effect. That would be nice. 
That would be what I want them to say. But maybe Ryan's like, look, I can't hide the fact that I met with a regulatory body. So here we are. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, it's October 1st, man. Happy spooky season. Hopefully we'll see you later this afternoon on Pot and Popcorn. We're watching two, one really disturbingly violent movie called The Sadness. And then we're going to be watching a really stupid, fun, uh, cheesy horror movie called Frank and Hooker. Hope to see you there. Join the Discord. It's free tonight. We're not charging members to get in. We're not charging to get in. It's for everybody, not just members. Hopefully we'll see you there. Be well. Have a good Saturday. Bye.